Hi, today we'll have a look at how to use the yearly budget versus actual spreadsheet template. First, let's go into our settings page. It allows you to select your language and the first year of your report. It also allows you to set color coding rules. For example, here, if our income is above our budget, the light will turn green. But if we change this to 90%, it will turn green only if it reaches above 90% of our target. Equally, it will turn green if our expense is under 90% of our target expense. Let's go into the translation tab. Here, we can see we have three languages available, English, French, and Portuguese. A section other will allow you to set up a new language. Simply translate all the expressions listed and go back into the settings page and select the other option. Let's move on to the category section. Here is where you can enter up to 100 income categories as well as 100 expense categories and their corresponding annual values. Let's start with the income. The first step is to unhide the empty rows. This will allow us to add more categories. Perfect. Let's create a new category we will call product A. We will then enter the actual income first budget per year for five years, starting from the year we entered earlier in the settings page. Let's say our target is 300 for the past five years. Awesome. As for the actual income, we can say that in 2016, we were under target at 280. Then we crossed the target and averaged at 350 the following years. Let's say 340 for 2017, 370 for 2018, 330 for 2019, and 350 for 2020. Now that we're done adding our new income category, we can go back and hide the rows and sort from A to Z. This will allow us to have a clear and organized report. The process is the same for the expense section. Awesome! We're now ready to look at the results. Firstly, the budget versus actual report. This report is an image of your income and expenses for a selected year with the filter being right here. Let's take 2016 as an example. The header gives us an overview of the total income versus budget and total expense versus budget as a percentage. As you can see, we have exceeded our income target and are at 111%. The little headlight indicates whether we are in the red or in the green based on the parameter we set up in the settings page. Obviously, we are exceeding the 90% we have set up and are therefore green. Let's look at our newly created product A income category. We have our actual income, our budget income, and the difference. We then have a progress bar indicating the actual percentage versus budget, which is 93% as we're slightly under target, and finally, the green headlight indicates we are above our 90% target. Right underneath the income table is the expense table with the same information displayed. Let's move on to the fourth and final section of this dashboard, the reports. It is divided in four dashboards, the first one being Report Overview Annual. This dashboard is split in two sections, the incomes on the left and the expenses on the right. Let's focus at the income. It first gives an overview of the actual income, budget income, and the difference for the whole period. 
also indicating the percentage of actual verse budget. Further down, you can see a bar chart indicating the total income per year and the yearly target. As you can see, we were above target in 2016, nearly on budget in 2018, and under in 2017, 2019, and 2020. Let's scroll down to the final part of the report, the table. It details the actual and budget for each year, as well as their difference, percentage actual versus budget, and if we are on target with the headlight. As you can see, we are green everywhere, as always above 90%. Let's move on to the second report, the income and expenses. This compare income and expenses at first overall and then per year, where we can also see the profit and loss. The third report is the income chart. The income chart allows you to drill down to a specific income category and visualize the actual income, target income, difference, and the percentage difference as an overall and per year. Let's look into our newly created category, Product A. As you can see, we were initially under budget in 2016, but then exceeded the target in the following four years. The fourth and final report is the expense chart. It is very similar to the income chart, except it allows you to drill down to a specific expense category. That's it! You know everything you need to know about our yearly budget versus actual spreadsheet template, and you're ready to start using it now.